Today we're going to go into our inventory manager, show you how we can manipulate some of the files from the X35 and transfer data back and forth between monitors. This picture of the garbage can, pencil and thumb drive, if we touch that, up at the top of the screen it says categories. So you can see we're on the vehicles categories and we have with a green check mark a 9300 quad track. So that would be the current tractor we're using. If you had another tractor in there, I could highlight that. And I got two options. With a USB stick installed in the USB port, I could transfer that file to the USB stick. So now it's safely located there. Then I can A, change the name, or B, I could put it to the garbage can. So if I delete it, and it's gone. In the future, if I want to retrieve said vehicle, down at the bottom, there's a picture of a USB stick. It's highlighted blue because we have a USB stick installed. If I touch it, that vehicle that I transferred to the USB stick is now here. If I highlight that, now I can put it back onto the X35 memory. To view what's on the X35 menu, I touch this again. Now you can see that's back. So within the categories, you have a whole bunch of stuff. So if you have multiple units and you've preset your product list, you could go to your products. You could transfer all of your files to a USB. If there was the same, we can overwrite them. Copy all five. Then, we could take that same USB stick and put it in another X35 and then press this to see what we have on the X35. You can see that the list had a lot more stuff in it. But if we want to transfer the whole entire list, we highlight the whole list and we're going to transfer it from the USB to the X35 hard drive. There's some of the same, so we'll overwrite them all. And now we can see we have a much larger list in our X35 inventory for the product list. You can do the same thing with your jobs. So we can transfer out various jobs, export them to a USB, export them for uh, record keeping. A couple other things we should note in, in this screen is down at the bottom. Here's where we change to view what's on the USB and then what's on the X35. This one here is an important one to do from time to time. You should probably do this like three or four times a year. Take a clean USB stick so there's nothing on it. Press this one to stack of discs and an arrow to the USB stick. And first, take all the inventory items. Don't ask if you want to overwrite what's on there, and we will right now. So right now it's backing up all of our jobs. So depending on how much you have in your X35, this could take a couple minutes. Now that we've downloaded all of the inventory items on this X35, you can see that we have a lot of jobs on this X35. Maybe more than we should. We've got a few years of data on here. So it would be a wise thing to do with this X35 to transfer all this out and then to clean up the inventory. So we're going to delete some files to make some more space because there will be a time when you'll fill up the inventory and uh, you'll slow down your X35. It's a computer. So we'll accept what we've pulled out, 2695 files, accept it. Then we have to go back into that same one and the user settings. So that's all the customized screen settings for this individual X35. We'll transfer all that out and accept it. And you're going to take this particular USB and you're going to put it in a safe place. It's wise to actually transfer the files from this USB to a desktop because this is very important. If for some reason your monitor got stolen, broken, burnt, whatever it may be, 
you can simply reinsert the USB and now instead of pressing the stack of discs to the USB you press the USB to the stack of discs and you repeat the reverse the process that's a really good way to back up things in case you have problems in the future